just let's talk about uh, the IMC business model in general. So I don't know if Nick wants to start talking about that. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Um, yeah, so so maybe it's best uh, I could just kind of give a little bit of background. So um, IMC was started by two MBT clinicians. Um, for those of you that may not know our backstory, um, that was Mark Miller, um, who's faculty with McKinsey Institute, and then Chad Gray, who's also MBT certified. And basically, the goal of the company was to take the MBT model and then have a way to standardize clinicians in that model and then measure outcomes on a consistent basis so that we can perform quality assurance on clinicians that have that background of training and then ultimately bring that to employers and health plans to help them reduce the amount of their patient, their, um, their member population that are going to uh, surgeries or going to advanced imaging, injections, and so forth, and move more of those patients into the conservative care model. Um, and so initially we started uh, working in our headquarters location in Tallahassee, Florida, uh, where we worked with a, um, a Blue Cross Blue Shield plan called Capital Health Plan. And what we were able to do is show uh, significant reductions in the amount of patients that were escalating into that high cost surgical category. And so then we were able to sort of take that model and grow it to other areas and branch out into employers as well. Um, and so for the last about 15 years, uh, we've been around as a company and have really grown that model to a variety of different organizations where we work both on site uh, to be able to deliver care for employers that are more concentrated, where their members can come directly and see one of our clinicians who are all going to perform in that same standardized and quality assured way. Um, or they can also access us via our affiliate network model, where we partner with different MBT clinicians around the country to be able to provide care to members that maybe want to access us, but we don't have one of our own clinics nearby. Um, and then we also have a few technology options as well. So we have a telehealth model where we can deliver care um, to members that uh, are amenable to that uh, type of care delivery model. And then we also have a mobile app called Joint Strong that allows members to go through a self-care and self-assessment process to be able to resolve conditions that are more on the low complexity side. 